Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be doing an unboxing slash like first impressions review of the Rachel wig from John Renault. So the color that I bought, I believe it's 10RH16, it's called Almondine. And I think it's one of it, their more like underrated colors. I don't see a lot of people talking about that color. Okay, as I wave my little scissors around, let's open it up. And I have not opened this box at all. The box itself is pretty small. I definitely thought it would be bigger. So right inside we have a little care pamphlet. Ryan all right, so here is the color. I'm gonna take off, it's got a hairnet on here. It's kind of hard to tell with the hairnet on. Here we go. Wow, check that out. So it's definitely darker than I thought, but it's actually really nice. And you know what, this is so light. I thought it was gonna be a lot heavier, but it's definitely a really light wig. I actually wrote down some information about this wig that I wanted to share as I'm reading about it. Um, so obviously it's synthetic fibers. It's also 100% hand tied cap. So if I flip it over here, every single hair in here is hand tied. So there's no wefts inside. Um, it's also a monofilament top right here. And it's actually got a skin top so you can part this hair. I, you know, you could part it in the middle, you could part it down the side. I believe you could part it pretty much anywhere inside of this monofilament in here. I've also got temple to temple lace. So, and that's a little different for me. Like a one like this, I'm used to having ear to ear lace. It comes pretty much all the way down here. So the lace on this one probably comes around here. So it'd be all the way across the top, which is nice if you want to like do something like this or like pull the hair out of your face a little bit, um, you'll have that more realistic. It's not gonna be a super harsh line. So this cap, I believe it's just an average cap size. I think, I know some of the John Reno styles they sell in like a large cap. My head is I think 21.75 inches, maybe 21 and a half. So generally I have a smaller head, um, but this one has, if I turn it over here, it has like Velcro adjusters. So you can basically pull this open and like pull it and make it tighter. Alrighty, I'm gonna go try it on and I'll be right back. <laughs> I always laugh when I put these wigs on directly out of the box, just because sometimes they're um, a little poofy up here. And then you have a little bit of this kind of side action going on. So we look, we look a little crazy right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and change the part uh, get rid of this poofiness, whatever's going on here, and we will see what kind of styling options we can do. Okay, we are looking rough, but might need a little bit of coercing to get some of these pieces just to go in the direction that I want them to go, but it's not looking that bad. And this is part of me having a small head. It is a little bit, I can feel there's a little bit of gap up here. So I think what I might do is adjust, pull the adjusters in and then pull it down further. I'm a little conflicted. So obviously right out of the box, there's a couple things. It is pretty poofy. I might need to just work on um, just getting some, I would call it box hair, try and get some of that box hair out where these synthetic fibers just want to like stick up and out and like go every other way. So I might just, you know, let it sit for just a little bit, give it some, um, some hand heat, try and rub that down. But I am going to give you a little spin so you can see. So we got the front. Not too bad. I'm gonna go keep trying to just play with these pieces in the back, see if they can get a little bit flatter. I don't wanna mess with the hair too much. 
but I think what I'm gonna do is move over to the window on the other side so I can just stand up and have a little bit more freedom. I'm a little cramped here. So I'm gonna move over to the window. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes since I put this hair on and it's looking okay. I'm not gonna say that I love it because I really am not a fan of this little like, it's still box hair. It's just poofiness that needs to go down. Um, but in the meantime, I did want to try and show you a little bit of this hairline. And I would say that it is really well done. So very, very similar to the uh, Dalgona wig by Beltress. They do take a lot of the lighter hairs and they line the lace here which I think is actually a really good decision because that blonde I think really helps to transition. And I will say just looking here, I do think that I have my wig on a little bit too tight because you can see my lace here. You can see the lace is starting to roll up a little bit, which means I probably have it on just a little bit too tight. It's pulling that lace a little bit. So I probably need to loosen that up a little bit. I'm gonna keep playing with this little poofiness up here to see if I can get it to go down a little bit. Cause once this goes down just slightly, it's really just the box hair. It's just the poofiness. It's pretty much a given when you take a synthetic wig or really any wig out of the box, you're probably gonna have a little extra poofiness and a little extra volume than you would like, unless you really like that. Um, for me, not really my style. So I'm gonna try and just like warm my hands up and see if I can get it to go down a little bit. Okay, so it is just a few minutes later. I've just kind of been, um, just kind of finger like combing it, just trying to get some of that really like bigness out that I don't love. Um, looking really good. The top's looking really nice. Overall, I am really pleased with this hair. I think it's looking really good, really natural as well. Um, I wouldn't say that it looks really fake or wiggy at all. And you know, all, once again, like I haven't done anything. I haven't gotten any heat out. The only thing I've done is just been pressing these pieces down a little bit and then just kind of taking my fingers and just very lightly combing this hair, maybe separating some of these curls here. As for styling goes, um, I can do like a little bit of a half up, half down. I do feel like these pieces here at the front aren't as curly as some of the other ones, which doesn't bother me that much, but I can just keep them. It could also be that I'm continuously touching them and pulling them back. Um, but I do like to kind of take these pieces and to kind of tuck them back so they're a little bit more out of my face. But if I wanted to, other hairstyles could be taking this. I could do a little twist and a tug. That's not very good, is it? If I put a little more effort in. <laughs> I could do a little twist and a tuck and pull out some baby hairs. Um, I could do a half up, half down. I could just keep this part down, go like that, and then do a little stronger tuck over here. Do like just a little half bang. Lots and lots of options. Um, I think it's really cute. It's also a really nice length on here. It's not too short. I have some wigs that are probably around here. Um, this one looking, it's a really nice, I would say like medium length hair. Okay, so I am back on my chair here. It's probably been about 20 minutes since I opened the box. And honestly, I'm gonna say that I am really impressed with this hair. The hair itself is super soft. Although it's a little shinier than I like, that's something that's easily fixed with some dry shampoo. Uh, the cap is really nice, it is comfortable. I will say that it does feel a little itchy in the back, but that's something that's really hard to avoid with wigs, period. Um, at least all of the wigs that I have, both really high-end wigs and some lower-end wigs, I do find that I have a really sensitive scalp, um, so they can get a little itchy. Once again, this color is called Almondine, um, but the highlights are nice. There are some like chunky highlights in here, which I don't really mind. They're not super chunky. I think it said it's 33% highlights. I would say for a synthetic wig, this is an expensive synthetic wig. I think I paid around $400 for it. I think right now, and that was on sale as well. Right now, I think they're $450 on the website. 
So if you're looking for something that's uh, realistic, it's going to last you, but it's not, you know, a thousand plus dollars that some of those human hair wigs can get. This is definitely like, I think as good as you're gonna get. Alrighty, so that is the end of this video. I really hope it helps somebody out there, um, even if you're looking, considering to buy this wig or is a little bit more curious about this particular color from John Renault. Um, otherwise, if you have any questions, leave them down below. I also have a couple other wig videos on my channel that I will be linking at the end as well as in the description box below. But other than that, I hope you have a great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.